all of a sudden somebody said, what's PMF? And does everybody know what PMF is? P-E-M-F, Pulsed Electromagnetic Field. If you Google Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy, there are zillions of articles on it because it's been around for a long time. Um, you'll, you might even have a client that'll ask you about it because they make beds and all kinds of different things. Um, the thing with PMF though is there's a lot of you know foo foo voodoo out there. There's not a whole lot of science. And um, with this particular device, it was developed in the human medical world um, by some plastic surgeons at Columbia University Medical School. And um, going back, and I won't go too back into the evolution, but uh, this goes back to uh, bone uh, stem. There was a, a technology where if you had a fracture that wasn't healing, uh, they would go in, put an electrode on each side of the fracture, you had more of a little uh, box around, and that would heal the fracture. This is all evolved out of that, okay? And um, what this, when we say targeted to pulse like maybe you know, the thing that makes this so different from every other PMF out there is that they've done the research and they know exactly what the mode of action is. And the mode of action specifically is that the electromagnetic signal that this is emitting is specific to the targeting of binding calcium and chymotulin. And when they bind, the end result of that biochemical cascade is that you get nitric oxide. And um, Louis Ignaro, he's on this paper, won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1998 for discovering that if you increase nitric oxide, you decrease inflammation and accelerate the healing. And he did that in human cardiac tissue. And uh, so where they were using this was they were, uh, after plastic surgery, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of inflammation, and, and that's how this whole thing started. I'm gonna give everybody a copy of this paper because it explains very succinctly what the technology is about, how it works, some of the research that's behind it. Uh, one of the things about this device is, you know, you look at you know, where the research came from, it's places like Henry Ford Hospital, Cedar sinai Medical Center, Columbia University Medical School. So it's very well-rounded. We're starting to get some studies in, in small animal, uh, in the veterinary uh, community in the process. Um, so how does this thing work in, in the practice? Um, it emits the signal that looks like the Green Bay Packers football. <laughs> um, and it comes out on an apex either side, whoops, either side, okay? It looks, like, it looks exactly like this football. It's about five and a half inches out on either side. So if I wanted to treat my elbow, I would go like this and it would go either way. Or I could go like this go down into my elbow or up into space. I had to have a tooth extracted a year ago. It was supposed to be a 20 minute procedure, it took 45 minutes. So there might've been a little pain involved with that. It was wonderful, the earring worked great. It went right into that, right into that tooth. Um, think of this imaginary bullseye in the middle as to where you want it, and then it goes down. So if we're doing a wound, it would be very superficial. If you're doing a joint, it would be coming back out to that point. So. You simply put it over there that you want to treat, you turn it on, and it runs for 15 minutes and it automatically shuts off by itself. Uh, we basically use the same treatment protocol as in human medicine, which was um, four times a day for the first uh, 48 to 72 hours and then twice a day after that. Now, what makes this very unique in small animal uh, medicine is there's not a whole lot out there that you can send home with a client that's non-invasive, non-pharmacological for pain management and wound healing. I mean, I don't quite honestly know anything else. And these only cost you about 150 bucks for 150 15 minute treatments. Most of my customers sell them to the client for 250 to $300. And some of the surgeons will even just put it into the surgery bill and send it home with them that way. Uh, I'm gonna give you each a copy of that paper because it is so good. And then we also, um, if you do, promise to do a case report for us, we will give you a unit to try. And you basically just fill this form out, send it in, give it to me, whatever you wanna do. And uh, we'll send you a unit. Five, and then five, five, as long as you give us the your case five, report, five, we'll five. charge you credit card for it. Um, that is pretty much 
Do you have uh, any questions on, on this? Has anybody heard of this before? Did somebody else who had? Yeah. Yes, over there. Okay. Uh, so you said it was four times a day for the first 48 to 72 hours and then how often? Uh, twice a day and, and then you get it down to even once a day. I mean, it's, you know, again, it's, it, it's dependent on the, uh, the, the animal. Um, but that's what we recommend. It's, sometimes it's hard to get four treatments in, three, whatever you can do. You can do a treatment every two hours. So, um, I mean, we have people, if you have an animal that's got a really serious condition or problem and you've got a dedicated pet owner, let me tell you, they find a way to do it. I mean, it's, a, it's amazing. They think they can help their, their patient or their, their pet. Uh, they don't, don't, they'll figure out how to get those treatments in there. We've got a great one right now. It's a necrotizing dermatitis, and, and I just talked to the veteran the other day. He said it's absolutely remarkable. Is what, since he started using this, he's done a case report for us. So 